But no buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go on. Maybe kill some and try not to as well. drink yourself stupid again. Oh god, that's so good. You're you up again. Okay. Do I need to meditate then? Sure. I cannot meditate. Oh, I just. Yep, yeah, I can meditate. I just need to do it right there. There. Midnight the next day. power I summon you. With your name I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Nothing. Nope, oh, nope. Oh. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. Well, I was hoping for a different design, but the uh, light makes it better. I guess. I like the fact that I can actually run after you. And. Well, for a while at least. I spoke too soon. God damn. Let's go missions. Alright. It is. No. I do like that it's really very atmospheric. Anything else? Oh, that way. Please don't be, you know, far away. If I need my horse, you should have given it to me. Ah, Dranos. Okay, no. ow, 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 ow. Ow. Oh, damn it. There we go. And that's one. Could have probably just avoided them, but nah. It's XP at least. Not a lot, mind you, but still XP nonetheless. Oh go that way. Isn't that the check of the No, some different oh, is it not here? It wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around, though. Well, I don't know. Oh, hmm? A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Those are horse tracks. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Water, water. What's this then? Clothing. They change in here. Both were here. I'm going the right way. And we need to follow you again. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can actually. Wants to show me something more. Find a zap. Uh, let's just avoid whatever that is over there. And we'll just follow you. I think they noticed me though. Did they? No. They're just running around on the min on the minima. You might be tracking my scent. Maybe. Let's just keep following this uh, spirit. And we'll fight whatever is on the way. Like those drowners over here. Oh, the actual little fiends. Ow. Oh, that's gonna explode. Oh, that's gonna explode as well. God damn it. There. Oh, hang on. Let me just get Quen ready. Just to... Oh, get out of there. Do they actually damage each other? Yes, they do. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Let's get me back so I don't die. Oh, my life. Dodge that. Look, 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 look. Cut down. Oh. 
All right, let's get Gwen going. Yeah. Nope, got backwards. Damn it. There we go. Should examine that horse carcass. Hang on, can I? I get yeah, meditate. Just, uh, just to be safe. I should probably what say as well. Here. Bones have been here a while. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. I think it's leather. I guess they would be a Giant to it. claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Oh, enough. Not Must cut have up. been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Hmm. The trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. Yes, that is good. Uh, let me just get you. I have to us. Something there. But I just miss her. Then. That is one big ass moon. And those are worse. Not your lucky day. Not good. That's only one of them though. It's like good of just ignoring them. And there's one Arthur's, isn't there? Yep. Dodge. There we go. One more. Just so they don't actually follow us. Well, I hope this is the end. Right over here. Well, not the end for them, but me actually finding them. A fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Good evening, gentlemen. Seek here, sir. Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That, sir, came at night, right, Mummy? Ah, uh -huh. boy. The loot always comes from a child's mouth. I want to help that woman. She could be in danger. Young and see no one, my lord. He's a kitty. Must have dreamt it. I want to hear this dream then. So, kid, who did you see? Who came here? Pappy brought her at night. The lady does the medicines. She was all afeard. Talked about an awful monster. Said she had to go back. Don't know where to. Mummy and Pappy cheered her up. Gave her clothes. Hers were ragged. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is hi. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I means. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. That is this wife. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, uh, twere like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally, they came forth. And we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. Toward then, I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands.
Yeah, those marks seem important. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron on the palms inside. Burned like a cattle brand. Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. These hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. What happened next? Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat. And before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods. Big as a barn with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Why did you help her? Why help them at all? You risked a lot. By the debt, old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara alerted, brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me a time of war and contempt's come, a time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. That you did. Also, how could you afford to? It's a shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Yeah, apparently I do know where Anna is. I'm kind of wondering where she is. So. A while back, I met a woman in Crookback Bog. Had fiery marks on her skin like the ones you described. Must be her, Mrs. Anna. Gods, she to Crookback Bog. It's where I saw her last. Gods of all the heavens protect us. Tis clear now who's whispered to her in the night. It is. The crones took her. She must have made a deal with them. A pact. It's why they marked her and took her like she was their own. Oh, guess we'll have to fight the crones again. Thanks for your help. The lady. She'll be alright in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. Yes, I will try. Put that shirt on, boy. You're gonna disappear, aren't you? So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. Still find it a creepy design to have a floating, you know, fetus. Be weird. What's is then a further No we got the gate an oxen third Ew. Yeah sure let's do that first because I think we'll need to We need to go to her anyway before we and go back to the uh, Baron. Come on, Rose. Also, I wanted to hear her side before I talk to the Baron. Let's see if he, he didn't actually lay a hand on her, like he said. So we'll just go to Oxenford real quick. If I can find. A quick travel somewhere over here. Mm, yeah, it should be a summer. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll just get off road then. Right over here. Hello, doggy. Can we pet the doggy? We cannot pet the doggy. And we can't pet the cats. It's. Seriously. Worst game of the year. I cannot pet the kitty or the dog. It's just disappointing. 
Your kind spreads disease, defeatism, and desertion. Oh, shut up. Anyway, Tamar, where are you? Not that far, actually. Uh, oh my god, hit. Uh, maybe enter. Hmm. Enter over here. Yes, hello. I'm looking for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitak sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. I don't trust him. Hello, little kid. Can I pet you? You're looking for me, and who might you be? My father sends you. Yeah, to see if you're still alive and well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine. And now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. Yeah, don't blame you. Your father's a vile man. You're angry and bitter. Can't blame you. Why do you help him then? Why did you take this job? Because he knows something about someone dear to me. Promised to tell me if I found you and your mother. Got it. A bit of blackmail. Just his style. Yeah, well, pretty much. Now you've found me, you can tell him I'm alive and I'm never coming back. I do want to hear your side of the Before story. Before I agreed to look for you, your father told me his version of events. Tell me yours. Mine? It's dull as life amidst the swamps. My earliest memories are of a drunken father lying under the stairs, caked in mud and clutching a bottle. Next dozen years, pretty much the same. Father would drink, disappear for days, then come home in a rage and send furniture flying. Thank the gods for war. I was glad every time they sent him off. And the quarrels. I remember him screaming at mum, the thuds as he beat her, then her sobbing. I'd hide under my bed and long for silence. That's the long and short of it. Multiply by 19, and there you have my life. Finally, we'd had enough, Mum and me. He crossed the line, and we fled. Yeah, she had a miscarriage, didn't I don't she? mean to pry, but I know your mother had a miscarriage. His doing? He shoved her. She fell. That's how it started. We were alone. No one to help. Blood everywhere. Worst night of my life. Sorry. Must have been hard. For you both mum was in shock she was raving that it was better this way that she never wanted the child she must have had a fever she was losing blood the whole time she didn't want the child said she'd sooner cut open her gut than bear another child from his seed i do know where your mother is Voitek said some monster carried off your mother that is what happened it was enormous twice the size of a bear but much quicker and more agile it grabbed mum before we could react. Now I don't even know if she's alive. Your mother's in Crookback Bog. Seems quite happy, actually. Though I think she's not quite right in the head. What? She lives! I must go there at once and get her out! Wouldn't recommend venturing into the swamp. I've made my decision! Won't let anyone talk me out of it! Oh! Is the... wife of the Bloody Baron... The woman that uh, took care of the orphans in the woods. Really? Now that is interesting. What is your version? Before I, I agreed to look for you, your no, father told me. Got that one. That's the long and short. What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Yeah, I'm gonna need to know who these friends are. Who That's are interesting. these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. 
Wouldn't be so sure of that. Been to Novigrad, met the leader of the city's temple guard, a man named Menga. One mean son of a bitch. Doesn't mean they're all like that. Most are good, well-meaning people. I know they'll help. Yeah, what about your father? What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. And you are? Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden, witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for Tamara, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire, abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a Witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. He is desperate. Desperate fathers have been known to do a lot to find their daughters. Unexpected from a Witcher. <coughs> I thought your mutations cleansed you of humanity. Stripped you of emotions. You don't need mutations to strip men of their humanity. I've seen plenty of examples. That is true. I do wonder where you will take her though. Where are you gonna take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the eternal fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Hope you know what you're getting into. I've never been more certain. The eternal fire is the best thing that could happen to me. In that case, good luck. Thank you for respecting my choice. Farewell. Also, don't start insulting me. Please. I've got that enough already. So what's the deal with this cat? Nibbles? No. That's a cute little name. Can I pet you? And I... No, I can't. I can't make... No, I can buy new armor. Anyway, uh, enhance, sure, let's do some shopping over here. Hey! Go on, don't think twice, just... Not you. Uh, this merchant then. What can I do with you for? <laughs> what you got for sale? Let me see, might pick something. Paint. Sure, we'll buy that already. Why not, right? We sell you new. No. Let's sell this still. All this junk. You only worth the gold anyway. Right, I don't think we need the Xenofox anymore since, you know, the one that had the other side is kind of dead. We might need. The raven's feather still. We'll sell the hide still. We'll go hunting if we need some more hides. Horse hide. Don't remember killing a horse, but uh, probably from inspecting it, maybe. Yeah, probably. Or just finding it in a uh, there we go. Nice and light. Goodbye. So long. Right. Uh, there is an armor over here. Kinda. I uh, don't care. I'll buy the armor in uh, Raven's Perch. It was. Oh, is there a. Yes, Novikrat gate right over there. You choked it there. Uh, okay, Ravens. Perch. Uh, no, Crows. Perch. 
they're not actually eat the same thing, but they do look a lot like each other. 